Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today we've got an unpackaging or an unboxing or an unbagging, whichever you like to call it. Okay, so this is uh, from a company that I've used before. It's the Hibba Hibba store or Hibba Hibba store. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, from China. So let's just have a quick look at this canvas. I have opened it so I could see who it was from. Boy, this is tightly packed in here. Goodness me. Just struggle to get it out. Let's have a look. Okay. Right. Okay, I have seen this um on another person's unboxing and I just thought it was super. So I just had to have it myself. Um it's a special partial, special drill partial drill. But it has lots and lots of different colours and drills and I just love it. And at the moment, it reminds me of holidays. So let's have a look. It is a huge sand castle on a beach. Yeah. See if you can see this. Can't quite get it all in at once. But it has a wonderful all jewelled and all drilled border with shells and patterns on and there's a crab there and a seahorse and a sea urchin and all the way down starfish it's just absolutely wonderful packed with different drills all different sizes oh but it is quite big all right if i suddenly go off you'll have to excuse me my internet is coming up again. Okay, so look at that. That sandcastle's wonderful. We've got a lovely pink bucket and spade down here. I don't think that bucket's made this sandcastle though. Um, I don't know whether you've ever been to the beaches where they make those massive sand sculptures and they're just unbelievable. The taller than you are and they do all different um, animals and We've seen castles and different things. Um, if you go to, I believe it's Western Supermare down on the south coast, they actually have like a big festival. Um, sadly, I doubt that it's taken part in the last couple of years um, with COVID and everything. But uh, yeah, we went there and we were just blown away. Uh, I'll see if I can find some photographs and pop them uh, in the video for you just to see. Some of them were amazing and this just reminds me of it so it brings back happy memories and i think that's what diamond painting is about it's something that's you know makes you smile while you're doing it and if it brings back a good memory something you've done or somewhere you've been then that's wonderful so right i'll stop my rabbiting let's have a look at uh, the toolkit okay so you just a basic toolkit which is your pen your wax and your little green book you have to get you started but um, yeah, I can't say much more about that really. And then I'll just turn this over. I think you need a blank canvas. It needs quite a bit of straightening out this one. It's got a bit of a, a curl on the edge there. But just put it under some heavy books. So I've got a big um, A1 size folder that I put between my mattresses that I put all my larger canvases in. Right, let's have a look at the canvas size. So this is a 40 by 50, it says. So let's see, I think that will just be the canvas size, not the drill area. It'll just about get you in here, I think. So let's see. The actual drill area is about 43 that way. By, oops, 33 and a half that way. So yeah, it's more of 40-ish by 30-ish than a 40 by 50 but yeah that, that's fine it's it's a good size it's a nice uh, painting we've got 14 different drills <laughs> i'll see if i show you the right way around it'll all be turning sideways okay so all your different symbols look at all those all your special drills yeah, that's super. Just love that. I can't wait to get started on this one. I do like to do my specials. Um, just 
I'm happy to put these through. Oh, and I can see it looks more horrible they are left there. It may be stuck in between as well. Shall we turn? Just move that canvas out of the way so we can have a look at these drills. Okay. Oh, these look a bit dusty. The bag's a bit dusty. And the drills look a bit. I don't know whether it's the bags that are dusty or maybe the drills are dusty. I'll have to see when I get them open. Hmm. Yeah, that looks, I don't know if you can see, look, it's like a, a cloudy, all cloudy in the bags. I've maybe got a coating. These bits of the plastic are clear, but the actual bags just aren't see through enough. Hmm. Okay. So that's your gold colours there. And these are just your, just your faceted round crystals. They don't look too bad. They don't look like they're cloudy. It's your pink. That's um, an AB look. Your special coating that gives you like an oil on water. Um, Northern Lights type effect on your drills. And oh, look at that one. That's really... We've got like a texture to the bags as well. So it's a bit dusty um, but yeah that's definitely got dust in there might have to clean those they're not even sparkling are they it's supposed to be the silvers but i have got plenty of silver so we'll see okay. oh look at those now these are lovely these are your uh, like shell shaped ones and they have a, a coating on them as well so that they sparkle look at that wow and then your peach little coated teardrops there they're quite popular i've had those on owl paintings a lot for claws um, and the marquee uh, faceted gold diamond the marquee looks like it's a uh, coated and ab um the silver diamond that one looks a bit grubby as well and a, a paler green coated one a round faceted gold there round faceted silver that has your coating on it and a pink little teardrop and then oh look at those they're all for the rope they're like a goldy colour all for the rope around the edges yeah all this rope here all these are all those little gold ones and that's what makes it pop and sparkle as you do it and your shells all come here, all your shells. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing this one. I'm a bit disappointed with these daughter. Shall we just open the packet and have a look and see if they are as dusty as they look? Let's open the silver ones. That one really does look very strange. Let's have a look then. Just uh, take these out and have a look. See if I have to wash them. I might not bother because I've got an awful lot of silver spares, but this is the first painting. It's not very good. Look at that bag. It's really, I don't know if you can see, it's really got a coating on the inside of like dust. Tip some out. Hmm, okay. Yeah, they have, they've got like a, I mean, they are sparkling better now that they're out of the bag, but they've definitely got a coating on them. Yeah, you can see the ones down here. They're definitely not sparkling as much as a normal one would. So, yeah, they're just going to need a bit of a brush or a bit of a clean. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I tell you, I'm clumsy. Hang on, where's my little hoover? Just my little hoover that I've had for a while from Amazon. I'm just uh, hoover those up. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, <laughs> that's done that. Let me get these put away before I tip them anywhere else. But yeah, I'm going to have to be careful with these drills. So, love the picture, love the special drills, but oh yeah, um, I don't know if that will show up. But I don't know if you can see, there's like a curtain. It's a little bit sparkly, actually, that's in that tray. It's like, yeah, you can sort of, well, I can feel it on my hands. There's a definite curtain on there. It's not good, not good. 
but it is, it's it's a nice painting it's a good size um, and I can get around drills being a bit grubby uh, it doesn't look like to be honest there's much trash if any in this sort of a little escapee there but they look fairly good drills and there's a good selection of them so I will be keeping this one I, I don't think I'm going to complain I think I'll just uh, put up with it oh got a few more drills just a second It does pick up everything, so be aware if you don't hover very much, it will pick up everything off the floor. <laughs> okay, so that's your painting from the Hibber Hibber store. Oh, look, and there's still one drill there. I'll just get rid of that one. So, yeah, a lovely sand castle. Just uh, reminds me of summer, and hopefully, we'll be able to go to the seaside this year, uh, take the grandchildren, and build our own sand, sand castles okay if you've enjoyed the video um, and want to see some more please like and subscribe at the bottom there if you press the bell next to the subscribe button then you will be notified of any new videos that i post but for now thanks for watching and i'll chat again soon bye for now